Okay, so Harry, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, he finally made it to Angola and he's followed in the footsteps of uh, Mum Diana, late, late Princess Diana, um, walking the same street that she did back in 1997. So let's have a look. And as you'll see, the, uh, the township has really come along. It was her final crusade and her lasting legacy. Just months before her death, Princess Diana visited Angola to raise awareness about dangerous landmines. And now 22 years on, Prince Harry was, has honoured his mother's mission. It became one of the defining images of Princess Diana, dressed in body armour, walking through the middle of a minefield. More than 20 years later, her son took up the cause. Wearing similar protection, Prince Harry helped to detonate a controlled explosion. Firing! OK, kids, don't try that at home, that's for sure. That's a very dangerous thing to be doing. You can see all the uh, safety measures they've got there. Princess Diana's visit to Angola in 1997 drew global attention to the devastating harm caused by landmines. But her death later that year meant she never saw the full impact her visit had. To walk in her footsteps is, is clearly quite emotional for me. Um, but I think as much as, she, as much as she did then, there is still so much to do. And as he retraced his mother's steps, Prince Harry walked down what is now Princess Diana Street, once littered with deadly explosives, but now bustling with life. Without question, if she hadn't have campaigned the way that she did 22 years ago, this, would, this could arguably still be a minefield. Mm. Harry also met the landmine victim who bonded with his mother all those years ago. That woman has named her daughter Diana. But while the prince says he's incredibly proud of his mother's achievements, ridding the world of landmines remains a difficult job. The work she started he now wants to finish. Andrew Lund, Nine News. So that's really cool. I like, one, one thing that's uh, troubling, I've never seen that photo. Where is it? Um, well she's actually, what's she doing? Is she, is she actually holding a landmine? You know, she looks like she's holding a landmine. Obviously uh, a safe one, I'd say. <laughs> but um, wouldn't catch me doing that. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty free. I've never seen that photo before. Anyway, um... What should I talk about here? I don't think I've got anything to add here. That was a pretty good report, actually. Just as it's good to see that the uh, township is really there is still so much to do. Oh, it's bustle, bustling there. Let's turn the volume down to zero. So you can see there, uh, it's a nice, uh, nice street now. It used to be just a field full of landmines, and they've they've totally rejuvenated and turned into a bustling little town. So that was very good to see too. All right, guys. I don't think I can add too much to that. It was very well done by Nine News here in Adelaide. So that was a nice report. And um, I was looking forward to that today because uh, I wanted to see that the township how it had been rejuvenated since uh, the landmine clearing. And it was good to see. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> and that was about all that's happened today. So I bid you farewell. And I'm having an early night tonight. And it's only like 10.43. Done well. <laughs> okay. Cheers, guys. See ya.